most of us that get involved in campaigns start right where you guys are starting, which is out on the streets, going door to door, handing out literature, talking to voters, doing a lot of the stuff that most people think campaigns ultimately are all about. And so what I want to try to do, understanding that all of you in one form or another are committed to going out and changing the culture, is to kind of give you a peek into the insight of why is it that you're doing the things that you're doing and how do they fit in the bigger picture of what really makes a difference in whether you win or lose a political campaign. Now, if you want to get real technical and use the political campaign terms, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, that group of people figuring out how big that group of people is, who that group of people, who is in that group of people, where they are. That's what we refer to when we say targeting. We know that here in the bottom right-hand corner, when we're actually getting people to go to the polls, that's turnout. Getting people to the election, getting them to go and cast their ballot. And the path that we walk them down is primarily a path that is communication. It's communicating with voters, whether it's in person, whether it's through the mail, whether it's over the radio, TV, whatever it may be, we walk them down that path to ultimately get them where we want them to be on election day. That is a political campaign. That's ultimately what you're doing. And a lot of times when we work with clients, one of the things that I try to explain to them is that if you can't figure out how what you're doing today fits into that, then my guess is you probably shouldn't be doing it. 